Hello. Welcome back to Heart to Rope. So glad you're with me today. Please subscribe if you have a chance. And today I caught up my horse, little buck, and got on him bareback and riding back to the arena with him today. Um, surprisingly, this is going to be one of my last rides. Hey. I can't wait to tell you more. And right now, just all the horses in the pasture, they're coming up behind me and it's just fun being on him. Beautiful day outside and just kind of letting him, hearing his steps on the ground and the bridge, just kind of. This last day of roping and I don't have any videos of it is was tough just because I didn't trust him a whole lot roping off of him. The good thing is it's kind of been a decision I made with um, my good friends there at the stables and when I went home to see my parents kind of come to this conclusion that it's time time to move on and I'll tell you more. Today looking at the sunflowers they are the coolest things ever. This last week it's been a good break from work and home just soaking up the sunshine and saw this field of gorgeous sunflowers and just enjoying it all to the most. Here this week I've been home thinking about Little Buck and just really need to express to you how wonderful it is to have had him for the time I did and to learn what I did about him. And it's also a good time to be moving forward with something new, something, a horse that's going to fit me better. And so I'm excited for that opportunity. As it's become a habit, each of my videos, there's always another creature to see and discover. So this was a snapping turtle we saw on our way out in the field when I was home. The good thing about being home is when we get to sit out, and rope the bale of hay or be with my parents and rope the sawhorse and work on my roping, my technique since I haven't been roping for the longest time. And it's been a good opportunity since the beginning of the year till now to be on horseback and get back into roping. I do, I absolutely love it. But I've learned what I need and what I like about a horse and so in the future, as I'm searching for this new horse, I have a better idea of what I really want and need. And I think that's just going to be a key thing in my new search. While I was home working with my parents, the main things I was working on with my roping is where I was placing my rope when I was keeping my angle coming into that sawhorse to make sure I had the tip picking up the ground back behind the feet that I knew where my target was and that I was following through that I was really being able to push that point of that loop through his feet and then come up with my rope, my slack, and get to my horn. So I was still working on a lot of good things while I was home this time. I've had this picture, it reminded me one of the last times I was in Kansas and riding a sorrel mare that I had, how much fun it was. And I look forward to that day when I find that new horse and it'll be fun being out there roping and riding again. I'm on my way back home from Kansas it's a beautiful, it's been a beautiful weekend, a beautiful day as always. I am closer to getting home one leg of my trip done as we're landing in Dallas before I can catch my second flight to Houston. And once I get to Houston, it's always nice to see the skyline of the city. I love it at night. And one other great surprise, my parents gave me this rope bag. Um, it has a heart to rope and the logo on it. I absolutely love it and so excited to have it. 
as always, thank you so much for joining me on Heart to Rope. I hope you enjoyed it and can't wait for next week.